I'm going to go over the steps to replace a kitchen sink basket. The first thing you're going to do is remove the trap and the pipe connected to the old sink basket. Use some type of container to catch the water from the trap. If you have plastic drain pipe, you should be able to unscrew the nuts by hand, or you can use an adjustable pliers. If you have metal drain pipe, you're going to need adjustable pliers. You're going to turn the nuts counterclockwise. To loosen up. I'm going to loosen the nut that connects this extension pipe to the old sink basket and pull it down. Because I'm connected to a garbage disposal, I should be able to just Loosen this and remove that T. And now I'll have room to work. To remove the old sink basket, I'm going to be using 12 inch adjustable pliers. This is a common style sink basket, it has a large lock nut with tabs and my 12 inch adjustable pliers will fit onto the tabs so I can remove the old sink basket and install the new one. If you have a 16 inch adjustable pliers, it'll fit completely around the nut. When you're removing the nut from the old sink basket, sometimes it's a little corroded and the whole sink basket wants to turn. So you can use a sink basket strainer wrench this fits between the crossbars of the sink basket and you can hold the sink basket in place while you remove the lock nut. You can also use needle nose pliers to hold the sink basket in place while you're removing the nut or have a helper hold it from the top. Once you've removed the old sink basket, clean off the old plumber's putty. You're going to use plumber's putty to create a gasket under the flange on your sink basket Stain-free plumber's putty works on any surface except ABS. It's going to be more versatile than a standard plumber's putty. Knead the plumber's putty in your hand to soften it up, and then you're going to create a rope a quarter inch to a half an inch wide, and you're going to put this all around the bottom of the flange. Once you have your plumber's putty on, you're going to put your sink basket in the center of the opening on top of the sink. Underneath, you're going to put your rubber washer on first, then you're going to put this cardboard washer on, and this is a friction ring, so when you tighten your nut, it doesn't stick to the rubber washer. Push your sink basket down. You should have excess plumber's putty pushing out. You can wipe off any excess plumber's putty from underneath, and then you're going to put on your washers and your nut. I'm going to hold the sink basket in place with my basket strainer wrench and then tighten it up with my adjustable pliers. Once you've tightened your lock nut, you can wipe off the excess plumber's putty. Then reconnect your drain pipe. I'm going to use the tailpiece washer and the nut that came with the new sink basket.